Go ahead, bring that guy up. Poison. And uh, yeah, you're done, bud. Lightning is very popular in the format right now. There's a lot of Picaram. There's a lot of Boltund. And now, there just might be a little bit of Toxtricity. Toxtricity is a deck that I have felt like I've always really enjoyed. I know Andrew Mahone of Tricky Gym has really loved Toxtricity. And I think there are some new tools that make Toxtricity just a little bit better. Uh, post Vivid Voltage's release. That first tool, of course, is the Electrode. So Electrode with the Buzz App Generator once during your turn. If this Pokemon is on your bench, you may search your deck for up to two Electric Energy cards and attach them to your Electric Pokemon in any way you like. So we can make sure that we can get our Toxtricity VMAXs up and powered up on the second turn on. Of course, the GMAX Riot is the attack that we're going to use on our Toxtricity VMAXs. 320 health, Lightning type attacker, GMAX Riot, 160 base damage for 3 energy. If your opponent's active Pokemon is poisoned, this attack does 80 more damage. So, if you fulfill the poison requirement for the Toxtricity VMAX, you're going to hit for, of course, 160 plus 80 plus another 10, which is 250. Now, how do we increase that number? Well... We can do so with Toxicroaks. Toxicroaks ability, more poison, put two more damage counters on your opponent's Pokemon that are poisoned during the Pokemon checkup phase in between turns. So if we can get a couple of Toxicroaks out, we can get them poisoned with the Slowbro, we can hit for some pretty serious damage with the Toxicroak. Now, how are we going to facilitate that strategy? Well, we have a number of ways to switch. So we have our four Bird Keepers. Switch your active Pokemon with one of your bench Pokemon. And if you do, draw three cards. That's a nice little supporter for us. So we can switch into the Slowbro, Poison, and then we can retreat either with Switch or with Dark City. Of course, our Stadium basic Dark Pokemon in play have no retreat cost. We got a couple of Weakness Guard Energy for the occasional Colossal matchup or against things like Galarian Surf HV, which is a thing right now. And we got a couple of Boss's Orders to give us a little bit of control over what our opponent has in play. So this is the list, you guys. I hope you enjoy these next couple of games. I want to say that while our record is questionable, we do have a ton of fun. And I think Toxtricity is just one of those extremely fun decks. If you're just looking for something to kind of grind out some games on the ladder with, I think Toxtricity is perfect. It has enough HP that you can usually get by in certain matchups. I mean, generally speaking, like if you're going to dead draw I'd rather dead draw with a Pokemon that has, you know, more than 200 health as opposed to like dead drawing with, you know, Blacephalon deck or dead drawing with a Spiritune deck. Like, you know that your opponent's going to be able to ge generate enough damage output to knock you out quickly. But our Toxtricities, they can survive at least, you know, one hit, sometimes even two. You'll see some uh, back and forth games in these next couple of games. Hope you enjoy them, guys. This is Toxtricity VMAX. My wife. Gave me one hour to record a video today. And she said, JW, don't come up from the basement until you get a win. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to get a win. So I can come up from the basement, have some dinner. We're going to make some pad thai tonight. I feel like a lot of these episodes are, are revolving around food, but is that really such a bad thing? So, we would love to have found a, like, a quick ball to go along with this comm, but I'll take the comm. Let's go ahead here and get ourselves Toxtricity. Now, I could go for a Voltorb. Like, a Voltorb would be kind of cute, because then we could get a Toxtricity powered up in one turn and do 120. But since this isn't a Lightning Week Pokemon, I think it's probably better safe than sorry. Let's go for the Toxtricity. And then we can always energize. Do a few other things too. Go rapid fire poison. Now, we could, if we draw into like a Coco and an energy, we could get a Toxtricity V Max on the next turn. So I still like, I'm going to stand by this Toxtricity V. So you see a Pokemon communication from my opponent. But yeah, it's a great day. Okay, so I was like, man, what should I bring to the channel today? So today we're going to have. Uh, Toxtricity, we got later in the week, we're going to play some Donphan Spiritoon. There's a nasty, nasty list that I've been messing around with that is really fun, um, that I think is probably the gold standard for the two 
Pokemon in combination with each other. So be on the lookout for that list as well. And uh, it should be a good week. Should be a good week on the channel. All right, so they pitched just a bunch of stuff. All right, so this is a Galarian Darmanitan V deck. I love it, but I hate it. It's a water type, but it's not weak to electric. So we're going to have our work cut out for us. We see the Galarian Darmanitan or Galarian Darmation. If you want to trigger your friends, call it Darmation. <laughs> and they go ahead and attach to it. All right. So I don't think there's a way we can kill this Snom. So we're just going to go quick ball away that. Let's get ourselves ye olde gunk. One gunk, please. Your wish is my command. And we'll research. Now, the Energize uh, is pretty good here, but we don't end up getting into it. We are going to have to just Bird Keeper on the next turn. So it bears in mind, like we want to know what we want to play down. Let's go ahead with the Lightning Energy there. And, you know, honestly, we could come in for a bunch of stuff. We could save it for the VMAX. We could come in for a crow or a Toxicroak. That seems kind of good to me. So let's go ahead and play. There's like no way he can one shot this right on the next turn unless he gets. No, there's nah, he could play a Lapras or something. I'm not too worried about that. So let's bench the gunk. Let's go ahead and get ourselves a uh, Toxtricity. VMAX. Just go ahead and play it down. And then we are going to need a Lightning Energy. So that is going to need to be a thing that happens. So we get that uh, Toxtricity. We could have gotten a Crow Gunk, but I think this is fine. Honestly. So I think what would be ideal for my opponent is if they brought this active then we could poison it, and then we could bird keep her into the Toxtricity and take a one shot. How likely is that? Eh, not very, but it is possible. Yo, this saves us a huge amount. Thank you for that training court. Your services will be remembered. So the energy retrieval, the training court, they do have an energy attachment left for turns, so presumably they'd attach that Crobat. They go ahead and Put a bunch of boys down on the Galarian Darmanitan. And we see a Quick Ball. Okay. Perhaps another Dedene. Maybe a third Crobat. That seems unlikely. Or just a lowly Snom. So Snom comes out. They're going to come back in for the Galarian Darmanitan. Yo. Wait a second. This might be happening. They might be bringing this active. So they're going to put another energy down on that. I think I would have manually attached to the active. Personally, uh, I would have manually attached to the active. Also, I would have maybe gotten the VMAX out. Because I think you're leaving yourself in a really awkward spot at this point. But no matter. They made their choice. See another sight come down on the bench. Going to go ahead and capacious bucket there. And we want to be very careful with our um want to be very careful with how many V Pokemon we drop, right? Because the telescopic side is going to do extra damage to the V Pokemon. So we want to be very judicious when we drop like another Toxicroak. Or excuse me, another Toxtricity, another Slowbro, that kind of thing. So let's go here. Let's go here. Let's get ourselves one of these fellas. We will put this down. Get ourselves some free retreat going on with that uh, with that Galarian Slowbro. And hopefully we can draw into some switch. That is like kind of the biggest thing that I want to see, honestly. Uh, some switch. We get a couple of quick balls. Again, I, I'm going to let this take a hit before we start quick balling out. Or other things. 
Uh, because I don't want to put a V down to have it take 60 damage from the Galarian Darmanitan. Um... I, and I feel like that's reasonable. I, I feel like that's reasonable. Okay, so now all we need is a switch off of these two prizes. Come on, baby. Come on, give me a switch, please. I hate to see it. So at this point, we're looking for switch or bird keeper, right? We have... We have three Bird Keeper in the deck. We got four Switch in the deck. Haven't seen a single Switch. We did see a Bird Keeper, of course, that got marnie to the bottom of our deck. We could really take control. I mean, they they honestly could miss the VMAX. And then at this point, we're just kind of looking for... We could either get Boss. Like, there are so many good options we could get on the next turn. We could get Boss, uh, kill a Dedene. We could get... Um, We could get something like, you know, switch. Obviously, we could switch into the into the slow bro, do a bunch of damage. Okay. Oh, yo, and they don't even get the evolution. Let's go. All right. It's at this point that he realizes that it's time to just get another Toxtricity built up. Go there. Go here. Let's go ahead and pitch away a Marnie. Get ourselves a Coco. Just, just in case. And then we'll Marnie him. I mean, his hand's probably pretty bad, but we want to see some new cards ourselves. And yeah, there's that other Krogunk as well. Although I think I'll save the Com. Well, should we? Let's just evolve it. Let's just, let's have fun. Let's have fun. It's always way more fun to evolve Pokemon, right? That's like one of the core tenets of the games. <laughs> so we'll go there. We'll retreat. And we'll do the thing. G-Max Riot for uh, 240 plus the 50 damage of Poison. So we're hitting 290. And it's... Oh, yo, and we get another switch. That means even if they counter our stadium, we can just double switch and get that big, big Poison damage onto their next Galarian Darmanitan. We could also win the game just up with a boss's orders of course we only have the two bosses orders so we have one in the discard pile right now so we need to top deck into a boss's orders but there's a max white out taking a bunch of damage on the bench but it, again honestly doesn't really matter all that much we get an attachment we get a uh we get a switch of course and we're gonna poison and then we're gonna retreat yo oh it's so easy dude get out of here you're not done, but you need like a double switch. You need a way to get out of the poison. Or you're going to be knocked out coming into our turn and we're going to win the game. And I can go upstairs and have some dinner. <laughs> so we do see that switch from my opponent, but like, what are you going to do? Are you going to attack with that thing? Like you're just in a lose, lose, lose situation because we just come up with the toxicity. Unless... You have, okay, here's what here's what could body us. You have Gust, Zigzagoon, Ping, and then you knock out both of these guys. But that doesn't happen. We are going to take this victory. We can even do it in style with the Galarian Slowbro Poison Pass maneuver. I think that's what we're going to do. Go ahead, bring that guy up. Poison. And, uh, yeah, you're done, bud. Good night. <laughs> Well played to my opponent, but Galarian Darmanitan, no match for our Toxtricity deck. And we're back with game number two with our Toxtricity deck. Looking like, I, if I had to guess, it's got to be Blacephalon, right? Gormandize is a perfect card for that deck. We see a Reshazard go to the discard pile. So maybe it's just some kind of Welder Fire. By Magmar, I have no idea what we're playing, dude. Where are we on this ladder? <laughs> so they're going to attach to the Magmar. Uh, are we seeing, like, tomorrow's deck here in action? <laughs> Maybe so. All right. So let's go ahead and come back in the Electrode. And I think I'm going to Marnie them. I would love to research. I would love to research. But... 
I think that's probably not as wise as getting rid of their hand. As much as we can mitigate the extra uh, cards from the Snorlax, I think the better off we're going to be, just generally speaking. So let's go there. We'll go ahead and rapid fire poison. And we're going to set ourselves up for in the future, you know, getting in big with the Toxtricity. We'd love to see a, an Electrode there. Could have popped the Electrode, obviously, given our Toxtricity a bunch of power. Um, but we're taking it a little slow. See what our opponent has and, uh, and go from there. Dude, this was me after Thanksgiving, for sure. Look at Snorlax, always sleeping. Has Snorlax ever opened its eyes? Has anyone ever seen a Snorlax with their eyes open? There's a Chip Chip Ice Axe, my guy, please. What is happening right now? I'm so confused. I really want to see what Magmortar does. Maybe he doesn't even play Magmortar. Maybe it's just the Magmar. That would be gas. All right. So we'll evolve there. Um, if this is some kind of control deck, maybe we want to save our bird keepers and stuff. Nah, nah, screw it, screw it, screw it, screw it. Let, let, let's go in, let's go in, let's go in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's way more fun to play the research. Come on, give us, give us something good. All right, so we get... An energy attachment for turn. We can go ahead and energize. And, uh, you know, we're going to hit for some big damage here on the next turn with the Toxtricity VMAX. So, pretty cool. Pretty cool. I don't know what's happening on my opponent's side of the field, but uh, pretty cool. Pretty cool. We could also, like, boss up the benched Magmar, assuming, like... I'm guessing it's some kind of... Okay, there is the Magmortar. I was like, maybe it's some kind of stall deck with the smoke bomb and you try to just whittle your opponent down or maybe they can't attack and you try to mill them out or something. There's another Magmar, eh? All right. So Magmar number two hits the bench. Magmar number one gets an energy. And we do see that Evo Incense. So I'm going to be curious to see if this is the... Uh, if this is the time, the Magmordar comes out. Now I'm, you know, as a content creator, I'm walking a really, um, I'm walking a really tight rope here, right? Because if I gust up this Magmordar, the chances are very high that they just instantly concede. Oh, and they're going to Marnie. <laughs> okay, we may not get to make that play. But... <laughs> Not that I would ever play suboptimally. <laughs> not that I would ever play suboptimally for a uh, to encourage my opponent not to uh, not to scoop, but it does cross my mind. <laughs> All right, so let's take a look at what this does. Magmortar Ground Burn. Each player discards the top card of their deck. This does hundred more damage for each energy. Ah. So they're probably going to be able to do... Oh, dude, and they play with the Clefairy. All right, this deck is insane, bro. This deck is insane. All right, so we'll go Bird Keeper. This is our new deck for uh, for next week, I think. We'll go Bird Keeper. Um, quick Bow. Get ourselves another Triss. Another Trissity. And uh, we'll Dark City. We'll go here. We'll go here. I'm a little nervous. <laughs> uh, and then we'll G Max Ride. Now, obviously, the most damage that I think it can do uh, in one attack is 280. Unless they have Leon, they could hit 310. They could have Zigzagoons or something. You know, hit those 320, 330 marks. So I'm curious to see what happens here on their turn. Uh, the first attack isn't so bad either. So they got a burst burst punch attack. Punch active is now burned, so they'd be doing, what, 60 damage automatically. And then flip for burns. So. Cute little card, that mag mortar. A couple energy go to hand. You gotta think a welder is coming up here soon. Nope, just a manual attachment to the active. Ah, welder to the bench. 
I understand. It's like welder to the bench magmar, dude. Dude, dude. Don't do me like this, man. The guru. Putting the energy on the top. <laughs> so gas. <laughs> All right, and they discard our Krogunk, uh, which is definitely a shame. Definitely is a shame. All right, so let's go Toxtricity, and we'll take the knockout here. G-Max Riot for 160. Obviously, no poison damage, but we don't need it since Magmortar's health is too low. This is a wild deck. Pokemon, you never fail to disappoint. I love you, PTCGO Ladder. Tell me about the most interesting deck that you've played on a ladder. I know that there are some viewers out here that uh, maybe will never enter a, a Pokemon tournament, and that's totally cool. And they play a Pokemon trading card game online just like sheerly for the fun of it, and I think that's a great way to play the game. But what is like one of the most fun decks that you've ever played against? Or that you've ever played. Because I want to know that kind of stuff. And if it's good, you know, if you want me to play it, put it down below. You might just see it up in lights. So they're going to Giant Hearth. They get those energy out of the deck. Guru to the top. And will we see? Nah, that wouldn't be smart, right? Clefable wouldn't be a good idea here. I think they just want to mill us naturally. So we see another welder should go to the bench, I would imagine. So the two energy to the bench. I like that. Will they get a Clefable? Because they can knock me out one of two ways, right? They could get the Clefable, or they could get the Guru Wisdom to the top. We'll see what they have to do. And there's another ground burn. Yo, another gunk to the D-pile. All right, Toxtricity, it's up to you, man. You're our only hope. Bruh, if they can get one more attacker, we lose. We lose. There's no... There's no two ways. There's no two ways about it. We gotta calm, because we gotta have the most... Uh, HP we possibly can. I'm pogged out of my gourd right now. The question I think comes like, do we kill the Orangaroo or do we kill the active? And I, I think we kill the active. We want to just continue to make it as hard as possible. But that, that choice is not easy. That is not an easy choice. But I think we want to make it as hard as possible. So we're going to take out the Magmortar. <laughs> and what if they could go double Clefable too and they could just put two energy out of the top. Oh, that'd be so nasty, because we have a dead hand, so Clefable is so good right now. They're going to go for Magmortar. Clefable's so good right now, because our hand is so dead. Oh, no. <laughs> There's the energy attachment. Clefable comes down. If they can find one more Clefable, we, like, we lose instantly. We lose automatically. If they have scoop up net, we lose. And a primate wisdom, something that's top. Oh, we see a ground bird. They're not going to do it. Oh, buddy. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. So, all right. All right. Be smart. Be smart. Be smart. So we got Voltorb. Eh, we'll just we'll just hold everything, I think. We'll just hold everything. Let's go G-Max Riot. We take the knockout. We got the boss if they drop another Magmar. And, dude, this was so tight. Well, how can they take their last prize? Is what I'm asking myself right now. So we see that they have the Reshazar, or they have two pri three prizes left. But how do they take the last, how do they do the last 40 damage? Oh, they could Welder onto the Guru. They could weld around to the guru and whap down for the dub. <laughs> Don't do me dirty like this. My heart can't take it. We see a quick ball. Magmar? 
another guru. Of course, of course. Dude, don't slow mo don't slow roll me, please. So they're putting everything down. I suspect that they're trying to get into a Snorlax. Um Yeah, and they're they're very clearly going for the WAP downplay. Which I think is very smart. Um, but do they have do they have any type of gusting effect? Let's see. What are they going to bring back? Do they have a gust effect? Because maybe they don't have gust. That could play into our favor. Oh, they're going to get the welder back. Yeah, dude. Okay. So how many energy do you think they play? They got nine, one fire crystal in the discard. This boy just has way too much damage on him. They're going to reset stamp. That's not good. That's not good. That is not good. We got to just manually retreat. Okay. So maybe there's a world where we could deck them. That's honestly my thought right now, right? Because how many scoop up nets do they have? They got like one scoop up net. They got a fire crystal dude. No deck out was to be had this day. They're going to fire crystal three back to the top or back into their hand, excuse me, and then they're going to Gormandize. So we know that they have one welder. Ah, Tempo Coco. Okay, okay. Oh, Kurt. Oh, Kurt. So we go tap. Tapu Coco. We go retreat. Into the into the bro. We're gonna poison to try to put some pressure on. We're gonna attach. I think we go Tapu Coco. Or we save it? Do we save it? No, that doesn't make sense. That can't be right. I think we got to go here. The game is like far too late to be thinking about whether or not to save Tapu Coco. We go there. Go ahead and rapid fire poison. And my God, they've done it. They can find, they need scoop up net. They need, gut. they do need a gust effect. So that is kind of the, that is the worry if I'm the opponent, right? Because you can build up a couple of gurus, you know, and you just need that one gust effect. Presumably they play one gust of, you know, one, one gusting card. I'm going to scoop up the active Snorlax. See another Snorlax. The dude's got three cards in hand, so he has to not play two more cards. There's a chance. <laughs> This deck is wild, bro. This deck is wild. But what if he... No! Oh, no. He is throwing. He's throwing. He only has three cards left, so he can't actually Gormandize here. Okay, he's going to Fire Crystal. All right, all right, all right. It's okay. It's okay. So of those three cards, do we think that he has a boss? He's got like six cards that we don't know what they are. One of them, I think, is a Welder. So he's got like five cards... We don't know what they are. He's going to Gormandize for one. Yo. <laughs> he just needs a gust. Don't do me like this, man. Don't do me like this, man. All right, so scoop up net. The one boss's he has the one boss's orders. Oh no, my day is about to be ended. He had it the whole time. <laughs> oh, GG. <laughs> and wap down for the dub. Unbelievable. Orangaroo taking that one. Oh, that's. That's that's rough, but we got to peep the list. Wow. Congratulations, my opponent, that Magmortar deck. That's amazing. So that is Toxtricity. I hope you guys enjoyed this video today. Gave us some ideas for upcoming videos. I'll tell you that much. Remember, guys, good luck and also have fun. Thank you so much for watching. 
Enjoy the rest of your day.